Porsche, a brand known for its engineering prowess and innovation in the automotive world, has recently patented a design for a revolutionary six-stroke internal combustion engine. And while the concept of a six-stroke engine isn't entirely new, Porsche's unique take on the technology could be a significant leap forward, offering the potential for enhanced power and efficiency. Now, to fully understand this innovation, it's essential to first understand how traditional four-stroke engines work and then dive into the complexity of Porsche's new six-stroke design. So, in nearly all modern combustion engines, the four-stroke cycle dominates. This system, found in the majority of gasoline-powered vehicles, operates through four distinct phases – intake, compression, power and exhaust. During the intake stroke, the engine draws in a mixture of air and fuel, which is then compressed by the upward motion of the piston in the compression stroke. When this mixture is compressed to its maximum, a spark plug ignites it, causing an explosion that forces the piston downwards, creating the power stroke. Finally, in the exhaust stroke, the engine expels the spent gases, clearing the way for the next cycle. This process occurs over two rotations of the engine's crankshaft meaning that only one in every four strokes produce power. And while modern engines have become incredibly efficient, this inherent limitation means there's always room for improvement. And this is where Porsche's six-stroke engine enters the scene. Instead of the standard four strokes, this engine adds two more, another compression stroke and an additional power stroke. The extra steps create a cycle where instead of power being generated every fourth stroke, power is now delivered every third stroke. This increase in power frequency is a key factor that could make Porsche's design more efficient and potent than traditional internal combustion engines. You see, the secret to making this six-stroke design work lies in a highly innovative crankshaft system. Porsche's patent describes the use of an eccentric gear setup, a system that allows the piston to reach different bottom dead center and top dead center positions during this cycle. Essentially, the crankshaft can alter the travel distance of the pistons, creating more opportunities for compression and power without physically overextending the engine component. This unique configuration allows for two consecutive power strokes, one from the initial combustion and then another from the recompression of the exhaust gases. This is made possible by a set of eccentric gears that allow the piston's bottom dead center to be deeper for extra strokes. That exposes scavenging ports that allow for additional air to be drawn in and compressed. And after that, more fuel will be injected along with the compressed air and then another power stroke will happen. The additional compression and power strokes serve multiple purposes. First, the second compression step allows the engine to extract more energy from the combusted gases before they are expelled, improving thermal efficiency. This could lead to not only higher power outputs, but also lower emissions, a critical consideration in today's automotive landscape. Then the second power stroke also ensures that the energy harness from the fuel is maximized, creating a more efficient engine that generates more power without requiring a proportional increase in fuel consumption. Though the benefits of the six-stroke engine design are promising, it also presents challenges, the most significant being complexity. Adding two more strokes to an engine cycle introduces several mechanical and operational challenges. The crankshaft system, in particular, is more intricate than that of a traditional four-stroke engine. Such complexity often leads to concerns about durability and maintenance, as more moving parts generally increase the likelihood of a mechanical failure. Furthermore, whether or not this design can meet strict emission regulations is still a question that has yet to be fully answered. And even with all of that, Porsche's patent might not even ever make its way into production, as is the case with many innovative ideas filed with patent offices. Nonetheless, the mere fact that Porsche is pursuing such radical design signals that the company is actively looking for ways to extend the life of the internal combustion engine in an era increasingly dominated by electrification. While many automakers are focusing their resources on developing electric powertrains, Porsche seems to be betting on the possibility that internal combustion engines still have room for improvement. Especially in high-performance sports cars, where the visceral experience of a roaring engine remains a massive selling point. 
the six-stroke engine isn't Porsche's first attempt at pushing the boundaries of what an internal combustion engine can do. The company has long been a leader in engineering with innovations like turbocharging, hybrid powertrains and advanced aerodynamics, shaping its lineup of cars. This new six-stroke engine could potentially continue Porsche's legacy of pioneering new technologies, keeping the brand at the forefront of automotive performance. To end it off, Porsche's six-stroke engine represents a bold reimagining of internal combustion technology. By adding extra compression and power strokes, this design has the potential to create more power and improve efficiency over traditional four-stroke engines. However, the increased complexity of this system poses significant challenges that Porsche will need to address if the engine is ever to move beyond the painted stage and into production. Also, as someone that works on engines, I will say normally complex engines are awful to work on and also normally quite expensive to fix. But before I say anything on that, let's just wait and see what comes from this idea. But at the end of this video, please let me know what you guys think of this idea. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably with some other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else I like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.